Thank you. Well, if you've ever suffered from acid reflux and heartburn, listen up. Millions of Americans have this problem and they use proton pump inhibitors or PPIs to treat them. You know them as Prilosec, Prevacid, or Nexium, and they are among the most prescribed drugs. They're also widely available over the counter. You might have heard about PPIs recently. According to a new study, these medications may also increase the risk of a stroke. Joining us now is Dr. Neha Sharma, our medical contributor. Thank you so much. Thank you. So you have a problem with this study. Yes, the research is preliminary and it's being presented right now at the American Heart Association meeting in New Orleans. So it needs to be peer reviewed for publication in a medical journal. It's not published yet. So to draw conclusions is very early. And secondly, it's an observational study. That means it draws an association between heartburn medications mm -hmm. and strokes, but it does not establish a cause and effect relationship. So based on the study, you cannot say that PPIs cause strokes. In order to establish causality, we need a randomized controlled trial. Okay, so if there are people out there watching right now and they are on these medications, your advice for them? If you are taking the medication and you need it, mm -hmm. and it's prescribed to you by your doctor for the right reasons, do not stop. Okay, so there are a lot of studies out there. What do you look for in uh, determining what might be a good or a bad study? A good research, first of all, should come from a good resource, a reliable resource. It should be unbiased, and that includes the funding source. It mm -hmm. should include a large sample size, and it should be well represented, the sample size. And it should always account for confounding variables. Now, the research we're talking about, the PPIs and stroke, it had a good sample size. It mm -hmm. accounted for confounding variables, and it's being presented at a very good platform, but the design is a problem and the fact that it's preliminary mm -hmm. and that's why we need to be cautious. Okay, so uh, advice to folks out there, if you do just hear about a study, uh, just don't jump to any conclusions or maybe don't take any action without talking to your doctor first? Yes, not yet. Okay, all right, well thank you very much for uh, helping us out, helping us understand the study and, and what we should and should not do. Thank you very much for stopping by today. Now we want to get a, a preview of ABC7.